So what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You know what? You know what really grinds my gears? Yeah, you know what really grinds my gears? Like when Universal was releasing a lot of their movies like uh, Violent Night, Megan, Black Phone, Cocaine Bear, and then what was it? Six months, nine months later, came out with a 4K. Well, I'm wondering if Sony's going to end up doing the same thing with Thanksgiving. I really love this Eli Roth movie, but... Oh, well, I didn't wait to find out because I went ahead and got Thanksgiving in 4K. How did I get it and what do I think about it? Let's get into the video and I'll let you know. Let's go. what's going on everybody welcome back to the jeff man 316 pop culture reporter channel i'm your host as always jeff man 316 boom that's me on the sign jeff man 316 live come over on the weekends usually sunday nights 10 p.m eastern while we live stream a movie um we don't actually show it we watch along to it we talk about pop culture movie bullshit and stuff like that but either way this we're talking about thanksgiving like i said in the beginning you remember when uh this came out and a lot of people were like well where's the damn 4k disc so um, Sony didn't do us any favors. They they pulled probably what's going to end up being the old Universal trick where they released all their movies, like I said at the beginning, like Black Phone, Megan, Cocaine Bear. And then later they released a 4K. To me, if you're going to buy a 4K, more than likely a lot of people are going to buy it at the beginning for new releases anyway, maybe not catalog titles. So why not release them at the same time? So... I love this movie so much, I reviewed it on the channel, we've talked about it, and I talked about it on the last live stream we did, where I didn't want to wait, I went ahead as a test to see how this disc was for this release of Thanksgiving. This is the Italian release, so you, you can see it's got some foreign print on there, but either way, it's a really nice cover. I like how they did a different cover artwork than that one, and it's got the logo there, but yeah, it's in uh, Italian, and so I wanted to let you know. What you're going to need to watch this as far as equipment wise and uh, about the movie because there's a few little uh, nitpicky things that a lot of people might not like. So as we always say, you know what we say here. Carpet matches the drapes. <laughs> yeah, the carpet matches the drapes. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's no reversible cover art. You get a 4K disc, you get a Blu-ray disc. Now that's cool that the Blu-ray disc has different artwork. Now what I will tell you here is this is region locked and i bought this movie from orbit dvd um pretty decent price too i didn't want to wait i've got a region free player so it doesn't bother me now i will tell you that i've listened and to some people talk about it and i've read a bunch of articles about this on reddit and they were talking about some people had trouble playing it in their player when they first got it specifically i think panasonic people had to use what is they were referring to as the menu button hack which i didn't know what that was i read about it i think they had to hit stop and top menu twice and then it ended up playing it mine is region uh free and what i have to do is uh it's an lg player 4k blu-ray player i open the tray up and then i have to hit a if it's region a or uh no i have to hit a one on the remote sorry if it's region a and then i have to hit a two on the remote if it's region b and I'm pretty sure I can do other ones, but that's the main two I change it to. Then I put the disc in and close it, and I've had to do that sometimes more than once. Sometimes if I've played a disc before it, I've had to power it off, then open it up fresh, you know, turn it on, open the drawer, the, the disc drawer up fresh, and put the disc in. So I've played this movie, I've watched it, and it's really good. Number one, I will tell you the picture quality is pretty damn good. I wouldn't say it's over the top as you know more compared to the Blu-ray. But there's one scene in particular that I really thought shined. It's when it's a little dark and he's taking his uh, axe blade and he's grinding it to sharpen it. And as the sparks flew, man, that the just the difference in the video quality there of contrast, contrasting the darkness to the blade to the uh, sparks flying off on it looked amazing. There's several scenes also that were a little bit dark in the original Blu-ray release that to me you could really see some details. The colors were good. If you like the movie and you really want it in 4K, 
and you've got a good setup, I would get this. Now, there, 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 there's some few nitpicks I wanted to let you know about. Particularly, like in my player, it obviously did not, this is not really a nitpick, but I'll just let you know what I had to do. You, it did not default to the English language, obviously. It defaulted to Italian, and it also defaulted with some subtitles on. So I had to go ahead, switch the language track to English, and then I turned the subtitles off. Now, I started watching the movie, and this is the main nitpick. And then there was a couple of scenes at the beginning, like when it said it was in Massachusetts. And then when somebody was looking at their phone and there was a something being displayed, like it, the menu was in English, there ended up being some subtitles that popped up on the screen that I thought, oh shit, I forgot to turn the subtitles off. No, I did. There's some su there's a few subtitles, and it's not many. It's when there's a English language on the screen or a phone that's got something important that it displays that the subtitles pop up and they're burned basically onto the image. So you cannot remove it. Now, if you are worried about that, I want, that's one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this video, uh, this movie in this video. That's going to be a problem. I don't, I didn't really, that, it didn't bother me. It only happened three or four times in the movie that I really noticed it. Um, but other than that, I thought the picture quality upgrade was good enough to justify purchasing it for me because it's one of my favorite horror movies that came out last year. Um, I also like the alternate cover artwork there. And pretty much from what I could tell, the extras were, were pretty much the same. It was really easy, uh, the menu, um, but it was really easy to go through and figure out what was going on on there. So if you really want this movie and you want it in 4K and you don't want to wait, I highly recommend it. If it wasn't that uh, you know great of a horror film for you, I'm just going to say keep your Blu-ray and maybe you wait for the 4K releasing in, in the U.S. I highly doubt since the extras were the same on this. It's going to be any new extras when they release it. I really like this release. Here's the the back cover is not in English, so but it's pretty easy to tell. And like I said, it's Region B, so not that's the the last little nitpick that I'll tell you about. Usually, 4K discs are not region locked. In this case, the 4K disc and the Blu-ray disc are both region locked. Now, usually the Blu-ray discs are region locked. Personally, other than I think one other movie, so this will be the second time that I've ever had to worry about the region coding of a 4K and changing on my player. So supposedly the agreement out there is that they're not going to region lock 4K discs. So why do they do this? And I'm afraid they're going to do that more for people to not be able to, um, you know, import movies in. Why is it becoming uh, a trend where some of these movies are getting 4K releases in other countries other than the U.S. Why would something like Thanksgiving not already be out on 4K if it's out in 4K in Italy? It just, it just baffles me. There's no way the market, a small, uh, you know, market of like a 4K uh, movie lovers, physical media lovers in Italy would outweigh 4K physical media lovers in the U.S. What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? So, what do you think of Thanksgiving? Do you like it? Like, comment, subscribe, share to my video if you like my video. Or if you want to talk about Thanksgiving, put some comments down below. Would you buy the 4K disc after hearing this? Are you going to wait? If they release a uh, US 4K release of this movie, are you going to buy that? Or are you happy with your Blu-ray? Talk about it in the comments down below. Please make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll know when I post new videos. So this has been JeffMan316. I'm your pop culture reporter signing out saying you guys be safe out there. Let's see.